Good evening. Hello to all my sisters and my brothers in Christ. It is yours truly, Taisha, founder of Something for the People Ministry. And today, um, I just want to be led by the Holy Spirit. Um, I made did notes, but I, I don't want to stick to the notes and the notes only. I want God to come in and use me as he always have through the Holy Spirit. So, um, I'm sorry it took me so long to get something out to you guys today. But the devil is busy. And um, when you're trying to do the work of the Lord, it's going to be something that's going to come from, come to you from so many different kinds of ways to it really blow your mind. But uh, let's pray before we get started. Father God in heaven, Lord, this is me, your child, Taisha. Lord, I thank you so much for forgiveness, Lord. I thank you, Lord, for being a God that can do all things, Father God. I thank you, Lord, for your tests and your tribulations, Father God, because these are the things that make us stronger, to make us know that you are God all along. I thank you, Lord, for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and being able to discern what is good and what is evil, Lord. I thank you so much for my supernatural anointing and my view of supernatural anointing, Lord. Lord, I ask that you mute me, Father God. These are your children. Lord, I speak to your children and tell them what thus said the Lord through me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Um, today. But um, what I want to address in the spirit is that um, the attack is real um you may some of you you know some of you are, are being under attack and um you gotta know this that god ain't gonna let nothing come up against you that is not supposed to come up against you you know he he, he got his arms around you hands you know you're wearing his hands um we're covered by the blood of jesus um it's going to be any kind of witchcraft, anything that is not of God, that uh, spells people want to put on you or try to attempt to put on you, God will not allow it. You know, sometimes I know with me, I'm very guarded about who enters my space. And uh, God is showing me that the devil in hell can't do me no harm. And that's what I come here to tell y'all that the devil in hell can't do you no harm. Anything that happens to you is strictly by God. Strictly by God. Even when the devil gets in or thinking he's coming in, it's all God. You're going to have some, you know, like I said, I've always been very guarded with my, with dealing with people and people in my space. I always say I've been. And that was just from my grandmother instilled that into me. Now, once I get into the spirit, I have to trust God and heed to his direction. But sometimes, you know, you don't want everybody in your space and around you. You may allow it through the spirit, but uh, your natural man and even sometimes your spiritual man uh, may not be as trusting of all type of spirits. But what I come here to tell you today is that God won't let nothing happen to you. You know, you got to see God in everything that you do before you pray for anybody, before you encounter anybody, before you deal with anybody. Because, you know, we have discernment and sometimes we don't know where a person is coming from. And when you have the Holy Spirit dwelling in you, you know, people don't know it, but sometimes they are possessed by demons and the demons want to destroy the spirit you made. You know, so uh, God gave me a. Uh, he gave me, uh, I'm in Exodus chapter 6, verse 6. And it says, Wherefore, say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of Egyptians, and I will rid you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm and with great judgment. Pretty much let, him know, let, let us know that my children, who I call that, 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 that are mine, I will not let the devil in hell touch you. They may come close to you, but I will put a barrier around you where they cannot get to you. Yes. Our God, our Father who is in heaven, no matter what it seems like, I know it's some of you that is a lot of, when you in this, uh, when you've been to yourself and you have not really dealt with a lot of different spirit, uh, coming on people, you, you really don't want to deal with it. But in the spiritual realm, we are called to do a job. 
We are called to deal with people in a spiritual way and lead people to Jesus. That's what we're supposed to do. But some of the stuff that you're going to see is definitely witchcraft. It's definitely demonic. And it definitely, uh, it will scare you and you really don't want to kind of deal with it, but you're going to have to surpass it and do what God needs you to do. And, uh, I'm here to tell you that some things may be scary. Some things may blow your mind. You might have some things that you deal with that you don't want to deal with, but God has you. You know, we cannot let the devil get on our mind and have us fearful of doing the Lord's work. Also, chapter seven, verse 11. Exodus. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers, and now the magicians, now the not not the magicians, now the um yeah magicians of Egypt, uh they also did like manner with their en enchantment. So let I'm mean, here to let y'all know this too. The devil is doing miracles, signs, and wonders as well. Uh, he has always done it before the times. So. You got to really go to God and ask God for uh, protection. Ask him to cover you with the blood of Jesus when you're coming into these different types of spirits because even the devil had a way to fool the people and do things uh, that were not godly. You know, uh, I, in Exodus, Moses had to use the rod to, uh, what did he do? He used the rod that, from God. He used the rod to... Um, what did he do? Bring it back to my remembrance. He used the rod to turn it into a serpent. To turn it into a serpent because he's trying to get Pharaoh to let the people go. And um, the, the Pharaoh said, hold on, go get my sorcerers. Go get my musicians. And you know what? Them suckers, they did the same thing. They took a rod and turned it into serpents. But God wants you to know that everything, some things are from the devil. And certain things are from him. So therefore, when you see things um, manifesting in for your very eyes, you got to self-check yourself. If you are in a sinful place and you are being blessed, you are being blessed by the devil himself. And I'm coming here to let you know that because you need to know you are being blessed by the devil. You know, God don't bless no mess. And God likes order. A lot of you have to get in alignment. So you may think that you're being blessed by God, but no, the devil wants you to stay right on his team. He wants you to stay with him. So he's going to do everything that he can to keep you at that place. So I still say, help whoever you can help. Pray for people, lay hands on them, but only under the, only under the direction of the Father. If the Father say, okay, you can touch them, you can be near them, ain't nothing going to come. One thing you got to do, you got to keep close relationship with him. You got to keep close with him. You got to be purified. And you got to be ready for some of the stuff that you're going to see. Because a lot of things are, are, are around you, are brought to you to take you out. And the people don't know that, they don't know what they really got all within them. But you know from how it makes you feel and that you don't want to deal with it. But God, he raised us up and he wants us all to know all of his children that are trying to cast out demons, that are trying to... um. Uh, preach his word. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna deal with some stuff. You're gonna come around some people that you don't even want to touch you because they so jacked up. But as us being, having the living God within us, we have to be able to stand firm. Know that God is within us and with us and he ain't gonna let no devil in hell come near us. And he wants us to know that. Like even with Moses, he had hardened, he hardened Pharaoh's heart. And he kept on going and sending Moses to do all these signs and wonders over and over and over. And God said, well, I know that his heart was his heart was harder because I did it. But to, to, to me, what I took that is, you want to show Moses, I am who I am. I am, I am God. So therefore, nobody, I, I'm going to show them this. And I'm going to let you, I'm really, I, really, to be honest, God wants us to know that what he take us through, it ain't even really, really for them. It ain't even about them. It's about us and who we are to him. See, now that God is showing you who you are to him, who we are to him, who you is as a child. See, a lot of times we're looking at the pharaohs with the heart and heart, and we feel like they're, 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 that they can hurt us or that they can um Stop what God has for us. And God said, no, I got them. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you who I am. You know, he's trying to show you. He's trying to show us who he is. He said, I'm going to show you who I am. And what I can make each person do. 
He said, I can do anything I want to do. He said, well, somebody might try to come up against you for evil. I can flick that thing around and let them fall into their very destruction. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. And that's from thus that Lord, I don't even have no notes, but it was passionate in my heart for me to speak on this. Exodus chapter 9, verse 14. For I will at this time send all my plagues upon thy heart and upon thy servants and upon thy people, that they may know that there is none like me in all the earth. God says, sometimes I got to let y'all know exactly who I am, that I am who I am. I am the great. I am the almighty. He said, sometimes y'all get so worried about the devil. He said, the devil can't touch me. He said, with us, in the, with him, devil can't, covered in the blood of Jesus, the devil may come knocking. And it may be a shield around us that he can't even get in. But you got to stay close to God. What you're messing up at is that you're going, you're being led astray. And you're wondering why all hell breaking loose because you're not in, you're not close to him. You're not covered in the blood of Jesus. So, therefore, you're looking at every situation that's coming up against you. And then when you are blessed, now some of you that are being blessed and you're in sin, it's not of God. I'm here to tell you that it's not of God and the Antichrist has risen. And the Antichrist ain't this crazy uh, dictator that's going to come along out the sky, you know, just uh, going to come just a crazy person on horns and all this. Those are symbolizations of what the Antichrist is. The Antichrist is that going to church and your pastor making you think that it's okay to still smoke, still drink, still have sex, and never even talking about it. But you go to church every Sunday. That's the form of the Antichrist. The Antichrist is here. I'm here to let y'all know. I said I did an Antichrist warning. I did not have the revelation that I have now. Right now, the Holy Spirit is, I don't know, pad, no pencil. It's coming to y'all. You know, the Antichrist is here. So y'all are being led astray to feel like that, 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 that there's no uh, holiness. And that, that you don't have to be sanctified. You do. You're going to have to be sanctified. You're not going to just be able to walk around, do whatever you want to do, and know that uh, and feel like God is blessing you. No, know, you're being blessed through the Antichrist. You're being blessed through that the, through the devilment realm. See, it's a lot of things. See, now it's a lot of things. You got to repent all the witchcraft, all the evil things you have done. It's time to raise your hand up and say, Lord, I did this. Forgive me. Forgive me, Lord, and help me not to do that no more. See, when you repent, you decide, you, you're telling God that I did this and I'm not going to do that no more. So I'm just letting y'all know it's more to it than what you think. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're coming with all these, these this way and that way and that way and this way. You know, what I'm learning that God is teaching me, he said, when I say that I have a covenant over you, when I say that I have you and that no devil can touch you, they can't touch you. He said, they, they may try. They may come close thinking that they're going to gon touch you, but they can't touch you. They may drain you. They may vampire you. They may vampire you to death and hell you, but you don't even want to get up and preach the word of God. But he said, through me, I give you strength. No, you cannot do it alone. You know, no, I, you know. actually, to be honest, I prayed for someone, and the next day, I was drained. And I talked to God, and I said, God, my father, I said, oh, how, you know, what's going on with me? You know, what's up? I am drained. And he said, welcome to my world. <laughs> he said, welcome to my world. So he brought me back to when the lady said, if I can only just get to Jesus and touch the hem of his garment, then I shall be healed. And he said, when the lady touched him, the head to where she was bleeding for 12 years, when she touched him, he she drained him and he fell away. He said, who did touch me? Who was that that touched me? And even though people and God want me to know, that's part of it, sisters and brothers. People going to touch you. You know, you're going to be drained. But which, what we have to do is put on our whole armor and know that God ain't going to let no devil in hell come up against us. You know, I was drained. I literally lay in the bed and was not ready to get up. And I normally have the energy of, of many men in the morning. So I'm just letting you know, it's real. You got people that's going to vampire you. and it's, But that's what we here for. I'm just letting y'all know we they, they you know they're gonna vampire you and I'm gonna be honest, I don't like to be vampired. You know what I'm saying? That's why I stay to myself by myself. But God said that ain't how I work. He said, Welcome to my world. Because I feel on my knees and I say, Hey, I've been vampired, sucked dry, I feel like. I feel like the anointing was sucked out of me. And he said, Hey, the anointing, you know, it's plenty of it to go around, sister. He said, Welcome to my world. 
Hush up and be used. Be used. You are a living sacrifice. You are a vessel for God. And I just come here to let y'all know that you're going to be vampire. You're going to be sucked up. But you got to put on the whole armor of God and know that he got you. See, God is revealing. Sometimes God got to reveal to us, even his believers, who he is. And when he said that he got you and can't then come up against you, can't then come up against you. And if they thought they was coming against you, he'll make them come up against their own self, really. See, what they thought they were doing to you, he'll go back and he'll torment them. But whatever they're trying to throw your way, it go right back to them. But you got to stay in them. You only be in touch because you ain't close. Get closer. And then you don't have to worry about being touched. And he said, yeah. They're going to vampire you. They're going to suck you dry. He said, because when a lady tells when a lady touched me, did she just touch the hem of my garment? When she touched me, I said, who was that? Who touched me? And he looked in the crowd and they're like, Jesus, so many people, we don't know really who touched you. And he had to track that right down because she took something from him. And they, I didn't, I'm not, I'm not used to that. You know, I'm used to living my, my little world, doing my own thing. I'm not used to that. And God had to tell me, get used to it, sister. <laughs> he said, this is, this is what you, beloved daughter. He said, get used to it. He said, this is what you wanted. You asked me to be a living sacrifice. You asked to do the works of Jesus. So you, he said, how you think I felt when I was delivering people and touching hands on people? He said, they was vampire. They were sucking the life out of me. But he said, the father that is in heaven, he will give it all back to you and so in the name of Jesus. He said, every time that they suck from you, he'll pour more into you. He said, and it's just all for you to release back in them. He said, keep on releasing in the name of Jesus. I'm here to tell you, keep on releasing, sisters. Keep on releasing, brothers. They may vampire, they may vampire you. Oh, yeah. The vampire is real. I seen it firsthand. I was vampired. I was sucked. I'm talking about like I said, ooh. I didn't feel like my normal step. I wanted to lay in the bed. Didn't even feel like reading my Bible. And, that, that might, and to me, that's scary. I'm going to be real. That is scary to me. But God said, with me, fear nothing. He said, fear nothing with me. Fear nothing. He said, you don't got nothing to worry about. He said, see, your carnal mind, your natural mind, you're going to think that um, harm has come your way. He said, but you get that out your head. He said, you work for me. I do well in you. He said, can't hey, none come on this in the name of Jesus. So I'm just letting y'all know, don't be afraid to lay hands. Don't be afraid to pray for certain people because you got to understand, sometimes we are the closest thing to God that people are going to get around. Sometimes our people are going to come, they're going to gravitate to you. Yeah, they're going to want to be around you. And don't turn them away. Don't turn them away. Especially when you to pray. But I always pray, say, Lord, okay. You know, they come in with this and they come in with that. I'm uneasy. But what you want me to do? And he will give you a supernatural anointing and a supernatural power to deal with it. And then he will recharge you through the Holy Spirit. He will recharge you and you will be able to rise up and keep it moving and do it all back over again. As much as he needs you to do it. So I'm just here to let y'all know that in the name of Jesus. You know, I love you guys, and I just have to, I have to, I have to let the, I can't be robotic. I have to come here and let the spirit take over. I love each and every one of y'all, but some of you guys, you know, you got, you're dealing with a lot. You have dabbled in a lot. You did a lot of things that are not of, of God. And it's time for you to lift your hands up and say, God, forgive me for that stuff that I did, because I was wrong. I did wrong. I was, and what you're doing is you walk, you come around me or someone else, and you hold it all that junk within you, and then you want to unleash it around the anointed one. And that's fine. We can take it. We can take it. But when you ain't used to it, you like, whoa, get back, really. Get back. You know, keep that over there. That's in your natural mind. But your spiritual man said, do your job. Do your job. So I'm just coming here to let y'all know, do your job. You know, you know you got the anointing. You say you want, you ask God for the gifts. You say you want to deliver people, heal people, cast out demons. When, when, a, when a demon started to fly and coming out and people that got demons within them come your way, you can't be scared. You can't be scared. You got to hold your ground. 
Stay close to God and know that he got you and he is the way. All right? All right now. You know, because I had to come uh, a little bit more bolder. I see now that punk, weak, soft stuff, that got to go. You know what I'm saying? It's time when, when it get like that, when I'm drained and got to be replenished, then I know that I'm being used. And God want me to, you know, thank you, Jesus. I am being used. I am walking in the calling of healing and deliverance. I am. You are the, you are delivered. You are healed because you took everything I had. You know, and I did not like that. I did not. But it's okay. It's done. Jesus had to let me know, hey, Jesus told me, welcome to my world. <laughs> he said, I get drained all the time. I was drained. He said, I walked around doing, uh, raising people from the dead and uh, uh, healing people with leprosy. And then he said, when that lady touched the hem of my garment, he said, she drained me to the point where I had to say, who touched me? He had to bring that back to me. When he brought that back to me, I said, oh, okay, tell me something, because I know how to take that. You know, I know how to take it. But I get it now. And I'm, I'm more than welcome to do it. I thank God that, 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 that to have me to be a, 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 a living sacrifice in a vessel. I thank God for healing and deliverance. I thank God for being able to cast out demons. I thank God for being able to lay hands on, on people. You know what I'm saying? I, I thank God for evangelizing and bringing people to Christ. I thank God for having power in my words. I thank God for my viewers. I thank God for y'all. So I got to be real, y'all. I can't come up here with that uh, pen and paper stuff. I had to let the Holy Spirit talk through me. He said, let them hear me. Let them hear me. The end of Christ is here. The end of Christ is here. You've been led all the way the wrong way. Come back. Come back to the light. Come back to the Father who are in heaven. I feel you, Lord. Come back. Lord didn't raise, he didn't raise up no suckers. You're being suckered. He didn't raise up you to be like this. You know better. You're being led astray. You're going on to whoever and gospel or uh, hip hop, hip hop, whatever that is. That ain't of the Lord. He, he said, don't listen to all that hip hop gospel. He said, if you want to make up a song, he said, you sing him a song. Sing him a song from your heart, from your spirit. He said, don't you entertain that garbage. It's garbage. From the pits of hell. It is in the name of Jesus. And I gotta get radical with you guys. I done played with y'all so much, but after God had led me and showed me who he is through me, he said, You go there, you use the power that I've given you. Use your power and release it upon them and let them know that I am God Almighty and that they have been led astray. They are not walking in my way. You have been led, you're going to church and you're thinking that you, think you can do whatever you want to do. He said, you must be sanctified. You have been with witches and warlocks. You have been, been praying to the ancestors, the ancestors, tarot cards, mediums, astrologers. You know, you, yes, you know what, what are you thinking? He said, come back to the light. He said, you think that you're blessed? He said, he don't bless no mess. You're out of alignment. Sisters, you're out of alignment. Brothers, come back. You're too far gone. Come back. You're trying to come back, but come. You got so many demons on you that they won't release you. But right now, I release them in the name of Jesus off of you. I release those demons off of you in the name of Jesus. No more will they hold you. They won't hold you no more in the name of Jesus. Everybody that hears this at the sound of my voice in Jesus' name, I rebuke those demons out of you. They have to flee at the sound of my voice. They trembling right now. Right now they trembling right now in the name of Jesus. I had to get radical with y'all. It's time to get supernatural on this channel. I'm tired of playing with y'all and giving you what you want and spoon feeding you. Some of you are heathens and demons. You got heathens and demons. They laughing. They laughing and they using you to be demonic. They are. But I, I say it right now. Right now, they got to come out of there. In the name of Jesus, they got to come out of there. I'm sick and tired of it, thus said the Lord. I'm sick and tired of them taking you over in the name of Jesus. I'm tired of it. And I just rebuke it and send it back to the pits of hell where it came from. Lord said, get radical. It's supernatural healing and power. 
and every single person that clicked the button. You ain't got to watch the whole video. You are healed. You are delivered. Stop the witchcraft. Stop it. Because you, 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 what you're doing, you're sending yourself to hell. And then once the devil gets you to hell, he going to torment you. You're going to burn in the lake of fire the demons. The demons. Oh, my God. They're going to rip you to trees. You're not ready for what you think you're ready. It ain't worth it. This life here, it ends. And you have to have eternal life. And you want to have eternal life with Satan? Or you want to be in, in, in heaven with God? What you want to do? Think about it. Stop playing. Stop thinking of things to be demonic. Let go of that stuff. It, do, it, do, it doesn't do nothing. You, some of you, you look tired. You're wore out. You don't know if you're coming or going in your mind. Is it going to take you to go to prison? Is it going to take you to wake up in hell? No. No. You can't do that. Turn. Father God in heaven. Lord, I thank you so much, Father God. You said it was time to get supernatural, Lord. Lord, I love you. I praise your holy name in the name of Jesus, Lord. Lord, I need you. I worship you, Father God. Lord, this word ain't going to be for everybody, but it's for some people in the name of Jesus. It ain't for everybody, but it's for some people, Lord. Now, as they right now, they stop playing. Stop playing with Jesus. Stop playing with Christ. Either you want him or you don't. But he said, come to him wholeheartedly. And he can work with you. In Jesus' name, you are set free. Amen. Some of you, you're playing. You're playing. You got one foot in, one foot out. You're playing games. You're playing games with your, with your, with your salvation. Yes, Lord. With your salvation, Lord. And playing games with your salvation, Lord, in the name of Jesus. You're playing games with your healing and your deliverance. You want to be healed by God, but you're worshiping the devil. You got to repent, repent or perish. Hold your hand up, lift your hand up right now and say, Lord, forgive me for the witchcraft. Say, Lord, I would not put another spell on nobody else. Say, Lord, I would not play with no tarot cards no more in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, forgive me for I have sinned, Lord. Say, forgive me, Lord, we all come short of the glory of God. Say, Lord, help me, sanctify me in the name of Jesus, Father. I need sanctification. I need to be washed clean. I need to be white as snow. So I can enter the kingdom of heaven in the name of Jesus. I'm going to let y'all go because I ain't want to make this too long. I ain't know it was going to be that long. But when the Holy Spirit show up, it want to show out. And the Lord had something to say to y'all. It was time for me to get supernatural and radical in this thing. Because it just was too much. It was getting too off the chain. Y'all too off the chain. Come back to the light. Come back. You know who you are. Thus said the Lord. Come back.